So today what we're going to be covering is how to prepare samples to press them in a herbarium press. So the first thing you'll want to do is gather the herbarium press materials together. You're going to have two outer wooden boards. You're going to have cardboard, newspaper, and felt paper. This felt paper is for absorbing moisture. So this is, and then you're going to have some sort of um, cords, rubber bands, materials to hold the whole thing together. What we ultimately want to do is produce a product that looks like this, where we have a leaf attached to a portion of the stem, and this is the size of the herbarium sheet. So we'd like to collect a sample. Now this is a plant that has a compound leaf, so in order to get a section of the stem, the leaf takes up nearly the whole paper, and we have a section of the stem down here. We want to leave a portion on this paper where we have room for the label. This is a sample of a plant that has simple leaves, so it's, we don't need as much of a sample uh, comparatively because we have individual twigs with each of these. So this just gives you kind of an idea of the size of the sample that you should be collecting. So I brought in a variety of different plants, some with simple leaves and some with compound leaves, and we're going to talk about how to uh, press these. Remember that I've got some large samples here, but I don't need all of this sample in order to get a sample sheet prepared that's about that size. So I want to select the proper size sample for pressing. So if you look, the plant paper is about the same size as the plant press. So if you have a significant amount of plant material hanging out of the press, your sample is probably going to be too large. So we need to make something fit in there. So I have a tree sample here that I collected. Now I know that this is a compound leaf because if I look I'm going to see that I do not have a bud at the base of that blade, that I am not getting a bud until I make it all the way back to the stem. So this is in fact one whole leaf. So I need to have an entire sample. Um, from this tree. The other thing that I may want to preserve on this sample, this is nice if you can get them, is fruits. So you see we have a couple of pods here, seed pods, uh, that contain the seeds for this plant. So I, I may think about trying to preserve um, those as well. So if you have clippers, that's a good thing. So I'll grab my clippers from here. And I can see from the size of this sample that it's going to be, there's too much here. I'm going to have a hard time fitting this um, within this press. So I'm going to look at some plant material that I could lose from this sample. So probably cut this portion off, and that can be used um, for another place. And I want to try to get my samples to spread out. It's good if you can get both the top of the leaf and the undersides, because if you can, as you see on this plant, the top is one color and it's different on the bottom. It's a lot lighter. So when I'm doing my pressing, I would like to try to preserve um, both samples to get both top and bottom of the leaf. So we begin by pressing first in newspaper. I'm going to take several sheets of newspaper and we'll have lots of it so you don't get skimpy on the newspaper. And I'm going to put my sample um, in the newspaper. Now the nice thing about pressing them is that you can come back a day later once the plants are wilted and rearrange um, the plants. So I'm going to try to turn one of these leaves over. If I have too many leaves and they're starting to get in the way, I can remove a few. I'm just going to take some of these off down here. I'm going to try to preserve these fruits at the base. room to turn this leaf over. Now, I'm not all that concerned at this point because I can come back once these things wilt and rearrange those leaves. Okay. So now I have my tree 
sample in the newspaper and I can put a couple more sheets of newspaper on either side if I need to and I will sandwich that newspaper between felts and cardboard. Now I can come along with my next sample. And just, it's like making a sandwich. Put more newspaper. And press the next sample. Now here I have a conifer. And this is an easy sample. I just try to spread this one out. And down. Now the conifers we have to keep a very careful eye on because you get to the point where the leaves begin to drop. So you've got to kind of watch these for how long you leave them in the press before you take them out and start to glue them onto the sample. So another felt, another cardboard, I can do another felt. and another layer of newspaper. Now this sample is a difficult one. <laughs> this whole structure is one leaf. Now I have to have a minimum, my sample must consist of a minimum of one leaf plus a section of stem. And the, real I, and the reason I need the section of stem is so that I can tell whether the leaves are opposite or alternate. In this case, they are alternate. So I have a very, very large sample here. So what I'm going to do is try to remove this portion of the sample, which leaves me with this much. And I probably going to get rid of, get rid of one of these leaves, probably this one. Now what I'm leaving is a portion of the petiole or the leaf stalk so that I can still see that these are alternate leaves. And as you can see this leaf is going to be larger than the paper. So I'm going to actually bend the leaf. and do my best to press this so that I can see the arrangement of the leaflets and try to get them flattened out onto the paper. Now again, once they wilt, it becomes much easier, but I don't want my leaflets all curled up because then I'm not going to be able to see the shape of the individual leaflets and the edges of them so I know whether they have teeth or whether they're smooth. And I may have to come back and do these the next day. But the idea is to try to get them spread out. For pressing. I think that's it. I guess I should do that. And when we've got the whole thing together, I will put and use as much newspaper as you can. I will have a board on either side. This is so this is like the bread on my sandwich. And I'm going to try to hold it down with some sort of strap. So in this case, I take these bungees. Sometimes you need help to get them there. It may take two of you. After assistance, <laughs> I've been able to pull this bungee together. And it would be great to have two, but we're running a little bit short in the lab on them. And um, this would then be pressed, and we can put weight on this or whatever. Now, the, the best thing to do would be to come in in just a day or two and remove any of these extra samples, open this up, and um, 
replace the leaves after they're wilted because once they dry, they become brittle and they're very difficult to, to move again. So you can see where on this sample, they did an excellent job. You see the underside of the leaf, the top of the leaf, and it's all pressed very nicely. So we will talk about gluing them once we have dry samples.